So we are doing a two light setup today, but I want to quickly show you guys what's in this. This is a very simple modifier. I'm always using soft boxes of different sizes and stuff, but today we're going to use a simple umbrella. And this one is from Hensel, right? So I'm doing a quick unboxing, but you guys will get the idea. It's a really affordable modifier. Open is just like, a regular umbrella. It has a silver inside and then a black. So you're sure that all the light that's gonna hit it is going to come out straight onto your subject. So that's what we're going to be using to light Miranda. And uh, before we start this video, I'm just gonna move the camera from the tripod and then show you everything that is going on. And then as I take the pictures, you guys again, will begin to see how it looks right in front of you guys. Do you even want me? Do you even worry? That I'm gonna love somebody else So you think about me when you're feeling lonely by yourself What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to Alright, so as usual, this light, which is the LED light, is just so you guys can see the video, you know, nicely like this It's not going to be influencing the shot, so when I take the pictures, you see it but this is our first light, right? And I have mounted the umbrella that I unboxed for you guys to see. I have my um, Explore 400 bouncing into it and it's gonna come out this way and light Miranda up. So it's coming in from camera right. Then I have this large reflector. It's my favorite, um, you know, accessory to add because it's going to bounce some of that light from here, right? Across to this and then back onto Miranda. So we have like very nice light on here. Then our second light is this strip box in the back. And that is also angled in such a way that it's going to give us rim light on the side of Miranda. So that is it for the lighting. If we go onto the back, we just have, you know, a canvas backdrop, green fabric. I think I'm gonna change the color in post just so it matches the backdrop. And uh, we just have these other items, you know, in here. So what we'll do is the first one, we're gonna do like very close up shots like these so we can get like very beautiful headshots of our beautiful Miranda. And then we'll just take the chair off, make her stand, and then we'll take like some portrait shots as well. So that is everything that is going to be happening. I'm shooting with my, um, my Canon EOS R5 and I have the Atomos on there so you guys can see exactly what the camera sees, right? I'm also triggering all the lights with my Godox trigger. I've set the main one to group A and then the second light to group B and I can control all of them here without walking to the light. So I think we can start shooting and then you guys will see how the images turn out. All right, so um, guys, like I normally do, I will start by taking um, just a shot of the ambient light, right? And you guys will see that it's not really affecting the shot. So this is my first shot with my trigger off. As you can see, we just have a little bit of light um, coming through. And if we want to kill it some more, then that means that we can increase our aperture. So maybe I'll take it from um, 1.8 to let's say 2.5 and take a shot. And as you can see, now we don't have our LED influencing the shot so much. All right, so now I'm gonna turn on the lights and then we'll try and balance them with what we have now. So the first one is going to be the rim light. That is set to group B. So I'll turn group A off and then we'll just start with that. It's at one over 32.3. I'll take a shot. Boom. All right, so now you can see that that rim light is adding light to her hair and to her shoulders. I think it's a little bit too hot. So I'll just go down to one over 64.3, take another shot. Perfect, I think I like this balance, but then we can change it based on how the main light interacts with it. So I'm gonna turn that on as well. So my group A is currently one over 16.3, and I'll take another shot. 
Ooh, that's beautiful. But I think we are overexposing just a tiny bit. And to do that, I can just simply go down on my main light. Currently, I'm at 1 over 32.3. I'll take another shot. Yeah, I think I like this balance. This looks really, really good. So we still have some depth on the other side of hair. And if I want to, you know, get rid of that shadow, I can just move my light a little bit more this way. So we have it spreading and covering her face a bit more. And that's what I'm gonna do actually. By the way, he just wants to be in the video. <laughs> and that All right, so let's take our final shots. Um, and then we can now start taking a little shot from here. Perfect, three, two, one. Awesome, I love it. As you can see, when I move the light around now, we have shifted the position of that light and we really have a nice wrap. And this modifier actually is doing amazing. Like, it's adding so much glow. Because of the silver inside, it's just adding so much to the shot. I really, really love it. And how natural the makeup too looks. All right, three, two, one. Oh, I love that. Three, two, one. Perfect. Keep that. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. You can just relax your face. Just, and actually, you have a very nice smile. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Keep that. Keep that. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's stunning. I love it. But can you... So the way you turn your shoulders, right? Just turn it a little bit more. Yes, and then just bring your face back towards the light. Yeah, perfect. And then the smile that you gave Ampa being that I'm jealous of, just give us one more of that. Yeah, perfect. Keep that. Nice. Just bring your eyes like to my hand. Yeah, perfect. Right there. Lift your chin up a little bit. Stunning. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Let's just take a few more and then I'll just change the orientation so I can take like a fuller, slightly fuller shot and then we'll take the chair off and then you stand and then we'll just continue from there. All right. So perfect. Three, two, one. Oh, I love. Just raise your... Yes! Three, two, one. Oh my God! Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on? All right, so I have flipped my orientation just so I can get like a different angle. Yeah, that's stunning. Beautiful. Can you like raise your, can you like do that? Yes, perfect. And then you can tilt your head more. Yeah, perfect, stunning. Yeah, keep that, keep that. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice, and then look back at hair again, just with your eyes, yes. <laughs> nice, one more. Yes, one last shot. You don't need to hold a reflector because she's holding it. And then, yes, yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, that, love that, beautiful. Oh, yes. Eyes back to the camera. Nice, 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 nice. Can you keep that, keep that, three, two, one, perfect, hold that. Stunning, one more, oh. One more shot. I think we have, I think we have. All right, guys, so I have made a few changes. We added some props, the flowers that she's holding, right? And I also added a light in the lamp in the back just to add more color to the whole thing. So now we're gonna start. So these are gonna be slightly fuller shots. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I like that. Nice. Chin up a little bit and then maybe just touch your head. No, dead away. Perfect. All right, so three, two, one. Let's take a shot, see where everything is at. Nice. Ooh, okay, our highlight, or well, our main light's a little bit hot, so I'm just gonna go to, I can just take it to 1.6. All right, take another shot. Yeah, I think I like where we are at, but I'll just go down on my main light a little bit, and I'll let you guys in on the settings. Three, two, one, boom. Yeah, perfect, I think I like this. My camera settings, I'm at 1 over 200, f1.6, and ISO 50. So now, we're just gonna keep taking our shots. Perfect, Miranda's just gonna keep moving. Stunning, I love that. I really like that, perfect. Nice, one more. Awesome, let's tilt our head back again. Ooh, I like that, three, two, one. Perfect, one last shot. I think I should even come close and take 
you know, slight closer shots of this. All right, let me just go up on my aperture. So back to 1.4, because I'm closer now. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> one, oh, one more. <laughs> Oh, I love these. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. Immature lover who don't use big words, yeah. I don't need commenting at all because I know what I want. You did amazing. <laughs> Is this your first photo shoot? Yeah. <laughs> this is your first? Yeah. I couldn't even tell. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, but everything was really, really. Do you like, you've seen some of the images, right? What yeah, do you think about them? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, don't ever give up.